I hear something off in the distance. I wonder what it could be. Holy smokes, the mail train came, and it dropped off some goodies. Some of these goodies I knew about. One of these goodies I had no clue was coming until I was told from a fellow YouTuber that he was sending me something. So we'll have to see what that is. So I've got four packages here. Uh, two are eBay purchases. Um, one is an Amazon purchase with the help of Rick Bailey. Um, he kind of told me what to get on that one. And then the last one is from Santa Fe Bob. I have no clue what he sent me. He just messaged me out of the blue saying, hey, you got something on the way. So, we shall see what it is. I don't even know if it's for me. It could be for Junior. Who knows? But we're going to start with the Amazon package first. And I called, or I didn't call, but I messaged Rick uh, Bailey a card in the upper corner about wanting to be able to you know use something with the uh, button board so that way um, those who are operating the manual spurs could have you know a way to switch the tracks the only the turnouts on the main line is controlled by the dispatcher but all of the other industries and stuff is all controlled by the operator so, Rick uh, told me to go get these. These are push buttons, uh, momentary push buttons, I think. Um, and from my understanding on the button board, I would have to have one uh, to flip it to the straight and another button to flip it to the diverging. So, there's both uh, buttons uh, with the red and black caps. So, I can use the black caps, and I might repaint those green. Uh, for the straights and the uh, red for divergings. So we got that. And then the other thing um, I got was let's see if I can open it up. Uh, these are some LEDs, but special LEDs. Yeah. And so here they are. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but the LEDs have three prongs on them. So these are actually bicolor LEDs. Um, they light up red and green. So the common um, cathode is in the middle, so I can wire up a single resistor to it. And do they even supply me any resistors? Oh, there's more stuff in here. I think they supplied me enough resistors. So, um, looks like 200 resistors. So, what I might have to do, and these are 470 ohms. Should be enough for this, right? So, these will be wired up to the tortoise switches. So, that way, um, including those on the main line, so that way the operator will know if his turnout is lined up or not. So I've got a way that I'm going to wire these up to the tortoise switches themselves. So I think this will be pretty, pretty neat. All right. So we've got that. So that's what came from Amazon. So that was the first package. We'll go ahead and go to the uh, eBay packages next. So this one here... Um, if you've seen some of my mail calls in the past, you've seen where I've been collecting some of the Union Pacific Railroad Employee Club cars. Um, I'm not going to collect them all because there's certain ones that are just not um, 
conducive to the operating portion of my layout. Um, like right now, for example, there's a caboose um, that's kind of got like a patriotic scheme to it, but it's not a cotton belt or an SP caboose. So I have no use for it. Um, there is a snowplow, a rotary snowplow with a motorized blade from my understanding. That's on there, currently for bid. And a couple of other cars that I am eyeballing, I just haven't went after them because I see they're on there all the time. But I did jump on these because I haven't really seen these on there. So I wanted to make sure that I nabbed them up. And I felt like they could definitely, one of them especially, could really be helpful to the layout. Alright, this one is uh, for San Antonio of 2008. And it is a Union Pacific cattle car. So, there we go. And these are basically Athern ready to rolls. And, you know, so, something with Athern, they have a real good relationship with Union Pacific. And, you know, back here on the back, you can see where it says Athern ready to roll. Alright, and then the other one I got is just a regular box car. This is the 2009 version. It is a combo. Uh, looks like, is that a 50 or a 60 foot? That's a 50 footer. Uh, combination, this was uh, for Reno, Nevada. And there we go. And it's actually got the UP Overland route logo right there so I thought that was pretty cool so I jumped on this one as well but this is a 50 foot double door but it's a combination it's got the big sliding door and then it has a plug door beside it so jumped on those um, I gave I think 30 bucks each for them so and they were listed as bids and I want it so wasn't too terrible I wish I would have known who the seller was because comes to find out that seller lives less than 30 minutes from me, and if I would have known, I would have contacted him. And instead of pay for shipping, I would have asked him, hey, can you meet me somewhere? Type thing, but hey, you know, can't help it. All right, so here is the next eBay purchase. Um, I was bidding on a single locomotive, and it was one not for my railroad, but similar to it, and I did not win the bid because... That locomotive went for over $200. Um, that locomotive was a Missouri and North Arkansas GP35. It was an Athern ready to roll. So I got kind of bummed out when I, when I lost the bid. But then I saw where these got listed. And the lady originally wanted um, $110 each for these. But she had a... Uh, or best offer so I messaged her and said hey I'm interested in both of these locomotives and um, they're the same just different road numbers and I said uh, would you work me up a deal and I said I, you know is 175 for both is that okay and believe it or not she jumped on it which means that I only gave $87.50 for each one. And she combined it shipping, which really helped. So, and these are Athern ready to roll, DCC ready, meaning they don't have DCC. So for $87.50, that's not a bad buy. Considering that you don't see these anymore, um, I haven't really seen a lot of them. Now I wanna say there is a manufacturer I think it was Broadway Limited that came out with a new run, and the local hobby shop had them, and they were really expensive. Um, but yep, yeah. wow, she saran wrapped them together. Uh, so I gotta get the saran wrap off. But I'm really looking forward. Oh no, she didn't saran wrap them together, she saran wrapped them individually. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting these on the layout uh, because they will run for my 1960 era that I'm running or starting with. And I'm just trying to find the other end. There it is. And I would test these things out for you, but unfortunately, like I said, I got to put decoders in them. 
All right, first one, we've got an Alco RS3 cotton belt in the, what they call the Halloween scheme. And this one is locomotive, oops, sorry, locomotive number 352. So I got that one. And number 355. So that way I can run them, hey, awesome, you know, tail to tail. These are, um, yes, these are long hood forward locomotives. Um, I don't know if you're going to be actually be able to see it or not, but I'm going to get up close to see if we can show it. But right above my finger, you got that F. And that F states this is the front side of the locomotive. And if you notice, the cab is way back here. So I'm going to try to do the same thing with these that I did with that RS1, the Rock Island one. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to light the number boards, but that's okay. If I could just get the, the headlight, the backup light, maybe a cab light and some truck lights, I think that would be really cool. Um, so I'm going to do that there. So, um, the lady, I think her name was Constance. Uh, I'm going to verify that real quick. Yes, Constance. So, Miss Constance, I pre really appreciate you working a good deal with me on that one. And I promise you, these will get some good use. All right, last package. This come from... Santa Fe Bob. Huh. Okay. Something Electric Supply Company. So, yeah, like I said, uh, he did not tell me what he ordered, so this is going to be interesting. I'm very curious to see what's in here. Uh, the box looks like it's had a, a good time. Um, the box is in really rough shape. So, I'm going to try to see if I can't open this without cutting myself. Alright, oh, we got a letter. We've got a letter. Okay, hello, Jason. Here are a few more Atherin blue boxes, but they actually have items inside. Hopefully these are within your era. The two cars that do have separate road numbers. You will have to add couplers because all I have is number 5 Katie's in stock. I sent Ray all of my scale head versions. Oh no, you're supposed to send Ray the standard head versions. Because <laughs> that's what I use as the scale heads. Um, I'm just messing with you, Bob. Keep up the layout updates and enjoy the hobby. Thank you for all you do. Santa Fe, Bob. Awesome. So, I'm looking forward to this already. And I don't even know what I got. Except for I got to rip this box. All right. Box, you did, uh, Bob, you did a, a dandy job taking this sucker up, man. All right, I think we're in here. Unfortunately, Sparky, no peanuts. So we got plenty of bubble wrap. All right, looks like three boxes. So, box number one. SP number one. He actually wrote SP number one on it. I think this is a kit of some type. No, it is not a kit. Oh, shucks. Oh, heck. Uh, Bob, I think I can definitely use this one. Here we go. We have a 50 foot flat with two 25 foot or 20 foot vans on it. 
trailer vans. Ah! And I'm over here dropping them. How about that? Uh, new. One of 51. So that definitely fits the era, Bob. So I'm excited about that one already. And all I gotta do is put couplers on it and change out the wheels. So yeah, definitely a good one there, Bob. All right, number two. Does this one say number two on it? Nope. Does the other one say number two on it? Let's see. Ah, SP number two. So let's see what this one is. It feels like it might be the exact same thing. And it's looking like the exact same thing. Is it the same road number, different road number? Okay, now I've got to verify. I'm thinking it is a different road number. And it is a different road number. How about that? So, same thing. And it come with the two trailers. But just to show you. Oops, there we go. We got three, three zero two six two and three zero two six three. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. So heck yeah. And I know if I can use one, I know that other one already passed the test. So that works. All right. So now box number three. And he did not write box number three on it. And box number three is two more trailers. <laughs> so yes, I can use these two because I will definitely need some trailers at the freight depot and at industries around the layout. So Bob, that's awesome, dude. That is freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say. Um, I appreciate it. Definitely. They will definitely get use on the layout, that's for sure. Because the only short trailers that I had were Chicago Northwesterns. So now you have given me... Um, six more short trailers even though i can only use four of them you know on a train car but that doesn't matter um that allows me to actually mix some of the trailers up so i could have one of the chicago northwestern sitting on an sp1 and an sp1 sitting on the chicago northwestern so i think that works out really well and then like i said i'm gonna put some of them around you know the layout you know in just a stationary position so, so yeah, I definitely, I, I really appreciate that. So, thank you for looking out for me on that one for sure. So, other than that, that's all I got today. Um, I do know I've got some more stuff coming because I did win a contest. I found out, and I won. I think it was a locomotive and a caboose. I know there was a locomotive there. I don't know what that second item really was, but I think it was a caboose. But uh, I won a rail fan man, uh, his name's Jason as well. Um, I won his contest of 250 subscribers. So if you haven't checked him out, uh, definitely go check him out. I got a card up in the upper corner. Uh, we need to boost him up because he's got some pretty good stuff out there as well. So um, other than that, that's it. I'm going to wish y'all a great week. Uh, stay tuned for Sunday. I got another layout update. My friend John helped me with it. And I've been in talks with um, the train junkie, and he's actually uh, working me up something special that he doesn't even have on his website, and that's because I went out and took pictures. So stay tuned. Um, eventually, I will be getting that backdrop from him, and it's going to be freaking awesome. So other than that, y'all be safe out there. Have a great rest of the week, and happy railroading.